Lake Short that are saying uh, they're at their wits end and that the hospital is a ticking time bomb. What would you say to both staff and patients that are concerned Lake Shore is becoming the next Maisonneuve Rosemont? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I had to go to Lakeshore in the last few months because of my mother, and I had the chance to speak with the uh, nurses and employees. And I understand that, like in many other hospitals, not only in Quebec, but also in Ontario and uh, everywhere in the world, it's tough. Uh, we don't have enough nurses. Uh, uh, it's not because the money is not available. It's because it, take, uh, it takes time to train those nurses. So I understand that it's tough. So we're trying to negotiate with the professional orders to delegate uh, some activities to uh, other uh, people than nurses in order to, to uh, better use all of them. So it's not easy. It will take time before we get all the trained nurses we need at Lakeshore and at uh, uh, all hospitals. What message would you have, though, for patients who are waiting for hours in emergency rooms and might be concerned that, you know, they could see their emergency room shut down the same way we saw with uh, Maisonneuve Rosemont? But I still think that the most urgent urgencies are uh, serving time. But uh, of course, some people uh, uh, have to wait a long time uh, for maybe uh, uh, operation that are not absolutely urgent, urgent. So I understand that it's not an ideal situation, uh, actually. But when I talk to Doc Ford, uh, we have the same thing in Ontario. And unfortunately, there's no miracle. I'm open to all kind of proposals. I've asked the two leaders I met so far of the opposition if they had some proposals, and uh, it's not easy to find uh, uh, some